So, Hardy and Megan the Stallion. I love Lisa Megan the Stallion. I like her. But sis, ooh, like this is interesting because I think last Tuesday I was like really out here defending her. Um, rightfully so because there was a lot of folks who were just, you know, saying that Megan um, chooses abusive men or, or whatever. And I'm just like, ah, I wouldn't say that. I think what the issue is, is Megan the Stallion has a lot of men who are abusive to choose from. <laughs> like, like, why are there so many abusive men? Why are there so many that are, like, you know, said abusive or whatever? Like, what's that? So, I, my own criticism, let me bag bag. So, Megan and Party, Partisan Fontaine have came, well, Megan announced, like, yeah, you know, I'm in a relationship with Party. She, you know, did a little video, she leaned on his showed it was cute but i was just like girl last week he was like literally about to click a kick a bathroom door down to find out what was going on and like no we, we're not privy to all of the things that's going on but that was just like that was too much for me um and i'm not saying like that might be his one slip up or one thing or whatever I, it might not be a repeated energy we've never seen anything like that from him to my knowledge there's been no reports of him being you know verbally abusive or, or physically abusive or anything so i don't label him as that um but i think what I have to say to Megan, it's just, I want Megan to keep her relationships private. That's what I want. Because if y'all do break up, which I do have my clock on, it will be another situation. Like, Megan is young. She's young. She's young. She's young. She should be able to enjoy herself. But unfortunately, she is a celebrity. And she is in the beginning. Like, she's getting there. So I just, I don't want to see her on Instagram laying up with this man. I just don't want to see any more women do that. I don't want to see any more black female rappers do that. I just don't. Like, I just I just don't. Like, Cardi did it. She was embarrassed by Offset. Well, not embarrassed. It's just, I just don't want these men to have any kind of hold on them because, like, I just don't want to see it. I just don't want to see it. Keep that man locked up. Like, do what you got to do. But stop, stop doing these little cute little 16, sweet 16 videos with him like it, it, I mean it looks cute but it's just like I don't want you to be tied to this man I don't know how to say that like oh my god like it's just and it's so different how the female rappers are we love to see this but these men be out here dogging the male rapper be out here dogging these women out it be so bad like future is just the most trashiest person like, and he don't, like, that stuff don't stick to him like it does with Megan. Like, they already were trying to call Megan or whatever. Like, oh, man, she's even around. It's like, oh, my God, how? Like, she's dating like she should be doing. What's wrong with that? I just don't want to see it on social media. I, I, like, I ain't telling her not. I just don't want her to be tied to this man. I just don't want it to be another incident, uh, no drama. I just, I, I want to, I want, oh, I don't know. It's complicated. Y'all tell me how to feel about it without being a misogynist because some of y'all were being trash last week and saying she always choosing trash men. But my response to that is going to be why are there so many trash men? Why are there so many abusive? Why is that? Like y'all, we keep saying, oh, like they keep cheating, like they keep cheating. Why are there so many that are available? Like why are they? Like you can't keep throwing a rock if I keep throwing the cast out in the river to catch a fish, and I keep throwing, I'm like, oh my God, there's a lot of fish over here. I'm not gonna like, why, why are there so many fish? If she, if I keep going and I keep, what is that? What does that mean when I'm catching a lot of them? And how can you tell when someone is abusive? When, like when you, like how do you know? Because you don't know until it happens. You may see some of the signs, but all the signs are not consistent with every person. Just like that one blow up a party doesn't necessarily mean that he is a person like that. But what does it say when it's like so many men that are here dealing with that? It perfectly describes like patriarchy. Like these men are allowed to be this. They don't see women as their equal. They know that they live in a society where they have more power over women. Like, that's the issue. And honestly, like, us men, us cis men need to understand that. Like, we really do. Even cis queer men, like, we need to understand that at the end of the day, like, we can still uphold and um, contribute to patriarchy. Um, even me, like, I had to learn that, like, I thought, you know, I was one of those, I'm, 
oh bitch, I, I can do this and that. Like, I ain't gay. I don't like that. But it's just like I'm still a man at the end of the day. I still hold that power. At the end of the day, I still hold that power. I need to understand that that I can you know do that. Um, so. Yeah, that's like all I wanted to say about that a little bit. Big Men, you know it's bad when CNN even reporting your foolishness. So, Meek Mill is being caught. I guess I feel like I'm talking about Meek Mill every other month. Like, every other month, it's his scrawny neck ass somewhere, like, just doing the most. So, um, Vanessa Bryant had to respond to Meek Mill uh, because there was this song, and I was thinking it wasn't true. I was like, girl, this ain't real. There was a song um, that Meek Mill had did, and he had mentioned the um, helicopter crash in the song, uh, and this, this new song is called Don't Worry. Now, when I first heard about the lyrics, I thought that it wasn't true. Come to find it is a song, it's called Don't Worry, uh, and it, it leaked online. And in the song, <laughs> this was the verse. He said, if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chocolate. It'll be another Kobe. I just don't, I don't know. Like, what's interesting is, like, Meek Mill, you don't have the, it's too soon. Like, why would you even do that? Like, and it made me think about when Nikki said, when MJ Doctor, like, MJ Doctor, you kill it. Like, I thought that was wrong. But it was kind of smooth. To me, it wasn't as bad. Um, and folks have been doing running jokes on Michael Jackson for the longest, but for somebody like Kobe and the tragedy of like what happened and it was a child's life and then, you know, he was married. It's just, it's too much. And for Meek Mill to just like, I, I don't understand. He's just so fucking lame. I just don't get it. So Meek Mill said he has apologized to her because Vanessa got on Instagram, baby. And she posted, she was just like, girl. I don't even listen to your music, but the girls is telling me uh, that you said something about my, my late husband, and I'm just not here for it. This was that I find this line to be extremely insensitive and disrespectful, period. I am not familiar with any of your music, but I believe you can do better than this. If you are a, fi if you are a fan, fine. There's a better way to show your admiration for my husband. This lacks respect and tact, period. And let's post this on Instagram. And people are asking now, are they going to have the same energy for Meek Mill as they had for Gayle King when they was when Snoop Dogg and everybody else was talking about how disrespectful Gayle King was because she did an interview um, and and she talked about some things and it pissed some folks off and it's just like this man's legacy leave us alone. But you have a man that literally made put this man's death in a his tragedy this tragedy in a rap song. You have got to be kidding me. Um, so, Meek Mill said, I apologize to her in private early today, not to the public. Nothing I say on my page directly to any environment moment or the family of a grieving woman. If you care about someone grieving, grieving, change the subject. So, he had posted a couple of tweets last night and people thought that it was in relation to Vanessa Bryant's message on Instagram, which I believe it. Folks, like, let me, we live in a, a day and age like social media. As soon as something happens, we know about it if you are on social media. I just, I like, girl, no, ma'am, you're not gonna tell me that. Uh, because when the situation happened when uh, Tiger Woods, it was on every station, every station. So I don't see how you get on Twitter and tweet stuff and you, like, sis, come on now, Meek Mill, you're very much on social media. You're the same when to put them chicken legs up, uh, eating some french fries and stuff. So you are very lame ass that's always on social media and just clapping. Like, I don't know. So it was just, I, I hate that Vanessa Bryant had to even address that. Uh, but it's just like, why would you even do that? I just don't get it. But it's Meek Mill. Um, so there's not much to get because he don't really offer us anything else. Um, so like, girl, it's, we hate to see it. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Um, so I was just, we talked about Megan. Let me go and go ahead and drag y'all faves, some of y'all faves. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez pulled up to this basketball court and Babe was playing basketball and I guess he had like ran out his little spray wig because baby, he was looking like Frank from Moesha. <laughs> baby, the top of that ceiling, it looked like it was giving a cartoon. <laughs> like, 
Oh my god, it looked like Bugs Bunny had snatched it off or something. Like, it was just so bad. And I was like, the reason why it looks so bad is because every time that man mentions uh, Megan, he loses a follower. And we know he's been talking about Megan for the last year. And he's lost all his hair. And I just tried to clean it up and have somebody cut her hair and spray some of whatever. That um, spray on it, and it still looked just as bad. Like, baby, they were dragging Tori for a minute and was saying that his head looked like a back of the, the bottom of a peanut butter cup. <laughs> that had me hollering. Girl, that man, like, he just ain't doing good. I love to see it. And uh, what's interesting is that him and um, Chris Bryan have a song out, I think, now. It doesn't surprise me. When two abusers' power combined, they shape, I don't know, I don't know, like Chris Brown looked like he aging that good either. Like he, like he needs to drink some water. So both of them look like they dehydrated. Somebody hooked them up to a saline bag. Stat. Uh, but Tori Lanez, I'm glad you're missing your hair, girl. Um, I hope your, your toupee and your hair is the same place where Rush Limbaugh is at. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to leave him out of there, girl. I am... Gonna be good as possible without getting my butt in trouble with, um, you know, with YouTube and stuff. But girl, when that happened, when the sis, eh, I didn't feel no type of way at all. I didn't feel no type of way. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna talk about you if you're dead or if you're alive. Some folks need to be gone, and that's just that on that. Uh, that man was racist. He was an ableist. He was all of the things, and he was making money off of it. So I don't feel bad for him. Uh, blow him ashes, ashes, dust, girl. They, you know, I don't care. And it was funny watching the service myself. Because like, liberals out here, um, Democrats out here making fun of Rush. And he's not even in it. He's by the time cold. First of all, I'm not no Democrat. Second of all, I'm not no liberal. And the third of all, I don't give a damn. Okay? I'm not holding to your rules. I don't care. I feel very attacked. <laughs> So, while well, talking about that, um, some folks want to be talking about Trump's acquittal. Uh, you know, he was acquitted. I know I'm kind of late, but I'm two weeks late. So, about two weeks ago, Sis was acquitted of all charges in, uh, in the Senate of uh, uh, impeachment. Didn't surprise me. Uh, it was kind of a waste of the time, to be honest. If anything, it was just, you know, just vibes. You know, no real legislation, no real thing. Like, you know, this is the most bipartisan um, impeachment um, ever. Um, they did pull on some Republicans, but just not enough. Now, some folks said the Democrats should have at least had some witnesses, but I think the Democrats knew that, girl, if we did that, we'll be here for a couple of more weeks. And, and like, I honestly, they ain't got time for that. If y'all don't pass that damn COVID release bill ASAP, that's what I want y'all to be focused on. I don't care. And let me tell you something, Joe Manchin, I'm sick of your ass. Go ahead, give these folks these fourteen hundred. It should have been two thousand dollars, honestly, because y'all said two thousand dollars out the door. It's been a month, and before you say, "Well, that government takes a long time," and that's not how government works, then why does it not work? Why are we still investing in this and it's not working? Why? Answer that for me quickly. What do? You, come on, Bianca Del Rio. What exactly do you do good? Answer quickly. Like, what is it that you do? What what do, is it that you? What does government do that like that, that that they're good at? What is it that you're good at? Making the rich richer, providing safe havens for rich folks. That's what y'all do. <laughs> That's what y'all do. Like y'all over here arguing over a little fourteen hundred dollar check when y'all literally they folks and cut tax breaks for millionaire and billionaires. Like, make it make sense for me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that's why y'all got all these stories. Like, let me go ahead and talk about that. Because there's been so much talk about the crime in Atlanta and different states. Don't get me wrong. These kids in Atlanta are kicking doors in, kicking um, um, your car, door, car doors in, the windshield. They did. They've been doing that, baby. I had mine um, knocked in. My window knocked in in my car. We was there back in um, November. And people are just like, why is there so much crime? These parents are not taking care of the kids. Da, da, da. It's just like, oh, it's giving anti-blackness for me. These kids ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing. They don't have anything. Y'all act like these are like rich kids. Like these are your offsets that came from, you know, a family making middle class. But like these kids are like seeing their parents probably work two or three jobs doing all this to make money. Like, 
We are in a whole pandemic. People are unemployed. We're going to experience crime like this. Like, if all of us had access to the resources and stuff that we need, there would not be any crime. There would not be. And there's crime that's going on that we don't even call a crime. It's a crime right now not to be paying nobody um, no more, like no less than $20 an hour. That's a crime to me. We talking about $15 an hour. It needs to be given 25, 30 to make up for that. You can't just now be giving, uh, minimum wage ain't changed in what, almost 10 years? And now you wanna give folks possibly $15 an hour up to 220, 25 or something. It's just like, you need to make up for the last 10 years of folks not giving the, the wages that they need. And for the people who respond and say, well, I work my job and I work in the healthcare field and I make 14, so how is that? Because you get your wages stole too. You should be getting paid more. So don't be mad at the, the Burger King folks and McDonald's folks and the folks out here working these jobs that we don't classify as, uh, we call it classified as low wage, low paying jobs. They should be paid, everybody should be paid a living wage to be able to survive. If we had that, we wouldn't be out here seeing windows and stuff getting kicked in all throughout Atlanta and all in Chicago and Philadelphia and all these places. People are struggling. We are literally fighting each other over resources. The government is fighting other folks for resources. Businesses are fighting for resources, stealing stuff from different countries. Like, it happens. This is a fault of capitalism. So, I'm, I'm, like, when I'm watching people have some type of analysis about what is going on, and all their kids ain't gonna, it's gonna be more than that, girl. Let me tell you something. As a person who was a raccoon several years ago, I promise you, you're not doing no structural analysis on this stuff. You just out here just reacting, girl. And reacting ain't gonna be doing nothing for us. You just reacting and just saying whatever. Like, I'm following this page, ATL Scoop on Instagram, and I'm seeing these folks with a whole G Wagon driving around a lot of y'all posting it. Y'all deserve them folks to be kicking y'all windows in and breaking in y'all stuff. If you out here putting an MCM, MCM bag and a two, three thousand dollar purse in your car, you, you need to be robbed, to be honest. Like, I couldn't even be mad at folks breaking into my stuff. If anything, all I can offer is I'm guaranteeing I'm calling Miss um, USAA. Hello, I need you to file a claim. And they say, well, Mr. James, your deductible is $500 with your cheap ass, so you got to pay out of pocket. Oh, okay, girl. Can y'all at least get me get enterprise number so I can go get me a rental car while my shit is getting worked on? So I'm, I'm watching, I'm just watching these conversations about what is going on with the crime. And it's just like I'm cringing every time because there's just no care, there's no grace, there's no anything. It's just like blaming black folks, bl br blaming black and brown folks for the problems that they did not create. Like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are struggling financially. Um, so you don't have folks breaking into cars and doing all that's what's going on in Atlanta. I've seen it, I'm seeing it every day. But to come out here with this anti-black po polity is not helpful to black and brown folks. It's like, like you're just reacting just to be reacting, sis. And it's deeper than that. It's deeper than just these kids out here doing that. Uh, like, it, it, like it's really just sad to me. Like, it's just folks just being mad. I understand being mad. Like, yeah, I'll be mad too. I don't have two hundred dollars for folks who I don't have two hundred dollars to get my windshield replaced and all that. Like, I definitely get it. But punching down on them kids and whatever that, it's not gonna do anything. Like, I promise you. I like I, it, it takes it takes a strong policy. I've been there. Like, I was getting harassed. I get nervous a little bit when I'm at the red lights and you know the boys walk up to me with a water bottle and all the other stuff and. You know, like I've been called the F-bum and all that other stuff, but it's just like I understand it. Like, I, I want to be safe, but like I understand that me punching down on them is not really going to do anything because it's not. The problem does not stop with them. The problem is deeper than them. So it does not matter if I do punch down on them when the, this system is still creating this problem. So it's just like, it's going to make me feel good, but it's not really doing anything. So it's just like, it's kind of like the government. <laughs> it's kind of like the Biden administration and they 500,000 candles. If you don't give me my $1,400 check, um, period. So I think I've talked about everything that y'all wanted me to talk about in these videos. I hope y'all enjoy my conversation. I really enjoy it. Y'all watch the sun come down with me. She out my eyes, girl, so I'm feeling, feeling weird. Um, I, I hope y'all are, you know, enjoying the content I'm putting out for y'all this week. I do apologize once again for last week, even though some of y'all said, you owe us an apology. I do feel kind of bad. I was like, girl, I want to do some content. 
I have to protect my mental health at the end of the day. So I hope y'all enjoy y'all Tuesday. Watch these videos, comment below, turn your notifications on, subscribe, follow me on Patreon, girl. That's all I got for y'all right now. Until next time, I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.